This is a demonstration of mobilization of a patient onto a longboard. We're going to start with BSI, ensuring that the scene is safe. And I'm going to have my partner come in and take inline stabilization of the patient's head. We're now going to assess pulse motor and sensory. Feeling for radial pulses. Wiggle your fingers for me. Which finger am I touching? Thumb. Which finger am I touching? The pinky. And I'm moving to the feet. Wiggle your toes for me. Which toe am I touching? Big toe. Which toe am I touching? Little toe. I'm feeling for pulses. I'm now going to measure and apply a seat collar. And insert the collar through the void of the neck just till the tabs show. Which will then allow me to bring it up under the patient's chin and along their breastbone. Make sure you don't push it back too far so it doesn't interfere with the patient's um, breathing. I'm now ready to log roll the patient and insert the backboard. I'm going to have my partner assist me with that. The first thing we're going to do is log roll. We're going to move on their count of three. One, two, three. While I have the patient on the side, before I apply the board, I'm going to check the posterior. Back of the head, the spine, the buttocks, and back of the legs. Seems to be no signs of injury here. Now we're going to insert the board. On the head count, we're going to put the patient on the board. One, two, three. We need to center him, so what we're going to do is we're going to move him in a V. We're going to go down first, and then we're going to go up. Ready? Go on the heads count again. One, two, three. And we're bringing him back up to the top of the board. One, two, three. If you have control of the head, you're just monitoring, you're not pulling. We're going to start with the chest strap. We're going to go under the armpits as high up as possible. Again under the armpits, over the chest, and crossing over to the side. For the chest strap, you want to make sure you're off center in the event that you have to uh, provide emergency care such as CPR. Took away your extra tape. We're going to move down to the hips, making sure you're on a bony portion. We're going to repeat. When we do this, we're going to make sure we catch the hands in the strapping. Last strap goes just above the knees.
And I'm tucking my extra away in the voids. Now I need to secure the head. We're moving in through the void in the lower neck. And then we're going to slowly slide it up so that the patient's head is resting on it. I'm going to take my Velcro strap and secure the head. And then put a little pressure, pull the tabs. so that the head is secured. Last but not least, I'm going to take my head strap and immobilize the head to the board. At this point, we're going to repeat pulse motor and sensory. Wiggle your fingers for me. Which finger am I touching? Pinky. Which finger am I touching? Thumb. And down to the feet. Wiggle your toes for me. Which toe am I touching? Big toe. Which toe am I touching? Big toe. I'm ready to move the patient now onto the stretcher. We're going to lift him, put him on the stretcher. Once he's on the stretcher, we're going to remove him from the backboard, leaving the collar on. And at that point, my partner can let go of the head.